أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم إن الحمد لله نحمد الله نشكر نستعين نستهدي إن من بينا وما يهدي إلا فلا مود الله وما يدل فلا أهدي إلا نشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده ولا شريك له ونشهد أن محمد عبد الله رسوله السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته we give thanks and praise to Allah Subhanahu wa Taala who has made our meeting a reality we thank him we glorify him and we adore him we ask him to share his blessing and his mercy on the noblest of mankind Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam his house and his companion is related in those who follow the virtuous teaching to the day of judgment assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh actually we are meeting here today to discuss a very vital issue issue that affects every one of us it's all encompassing and our topic for today is going to be al hiv al lisan safeguarding a tongue safeguarding a tongue if you look at this topic very well there are two terms or terminologies combined together safeguarding and tongue what do you understand by safeguarding safeguarding has to do with protection has to do with safety and tongue happens to be an organ within our body that is very sensitive that is very you know, circling in its nature that needed to be managed very well. And if you look at the structural creation of the tongue, the way Almighty Allah has placed it is within the fold of the mouth cavity where it has been sealed up you can see that it is sealed within the teeth as a prison or as a barricade or barrier and followed by the lips is covered up this to let you know that naturally the tongue should not be let free should be safeguarded considering considering the way Allah SWT has created it let alone going by what Islam has told us about the tongue if you look at the tongue very well Allah SWT swear by it in the Quran Allah said Allah said by the tongue and the two leaves that was is used to seal it, I swear by it. And we are giving man two directions to decide either to go right or to go. So therefore, it's very essential and very key at this point in time to you know understand some of the philosophy and the rationale behind this last swearing by the tongue so we the last should swear by anything it implies that that thing is very magnanimous and very big very great it has to be treated with cursive attention and that is why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala used to call our attention to love play um, a lot of things relating to our tongue in the Quran this Allah say ma ladayl qawl ma yalfadal qawl la ladayl rakibu atid Man will never ex say anything, express anything, save the angel. Rokibu Atid, 
that document every actions in terms of expression we meet with such person to take note the angel are always always with you to take note of what you say with the mouth let alone and i said in the summer while for either while the person will have either cannot can i know must order everything you use your limbs your eyes your hair your heart to display to commit you shall be called to question over them and you know that all of this the eye the air the soul the mindset they are all working you know in connection with the mouth what you process within your heart what you think what you perceive with the hair the the organ that will convey it that will reveal it is the tongue so they're all more or less like being servitude to to the tongue the tongue is very crucial in my body and another thing we need to also need to take note about our tongue is that the tongue is very very um, sensitive says in the same that once it is open for expression the expression can do a lot of harms can do a lot of evils can destroy and the expression can also do good that is why as a muslim is very very important before you say anything you must be mindful of what is coming from your mouth there's this saying of the professor saying of the professor salam that at times a man we alter a statement and this statement you will never be mindful of it but the statement will fall within the food of Allah anger Allah rancor and that will make him to hell in hellfire and at a man we express something and that's something we go in line with Allah's you know uh, pleasure and the gold person will end in paradise. That is why Prophet Salam told uh, one of the Sahaba that take note, take cognizance out of your tongue because many people will eventually end, end up in hellfire through the way the tongue is being, you know, utilized. The tongue must be well managed. As a Muslim, you should be very careful of the expression. That is why it was, it was said among, uh, among the um, scholars that the tongue or expression is more or less like an egg, a broken egg. When a egg is, you know, dropped and got broken, you can, you can, you can, you know, fix it back. You can fix it back. You can only really fix it. So it's very essential. To be mindful of our expression. And last month I said that, yeah, you're letting that man to take Allah. Wakulu call and said either. Will you believe? Fear Allah and be mindful of your expression. If you look at sort of how you sort of how you that last month Allah warned us on the way we use our expression. Allah told us in this surah Hujura that we should not, you know, vilify or make jests of our fellow being. We should not really give them. He told us that we should not give ourselves bad names or what we call a nickname that is no derogatory it told us not to you know be the type that we um backbite gossip about our brother it's more or less like somebody consuming you know the carcass of his living brother look at the way Allah 
educate you in eyes, educating us about the way we use our tongue. But today, what are we seeing? It's other way around. People just talk anyhow today. They feel like it's a free word that you can say what I whatever I want to say. Even in the secular environment, secular community, you're not allowed to just say anything. In freedom of speech has limitation. You won't say because you have freedom of, of speech, then you can go to the extent of you know a blackmailing, extent of character assassination. Do you know the implication? That is what people enjoy today. You go on Facebook, on social media, you're a blogger, you condemn people, you vilify their name, you slander them, you assassinate their character, you carry rumor, you express vulgar statements. As a Muslim, you should know that there's accountability for whatsoever that is coming out from our mouth. The tongue should be safeguarded, should be, should be, should be, should be given, you know, the right um, care. And the finally, because of time constraint, what and what is expected of you and I to use our tongue to carry out. The tongue should be used to do vicar, remember of Allah. Who is the best? The best one that is expressing the best in the expression is that who call to the part of Allah, who do the remembrance of Allah. Well, I think you like Akbar. You can use the read Quran to do the kid, to do uh, Dawah. To advise for good. To the extent that Prophet said that silent is the best for you. If you don't have anything good, anything good to say, man kana yumna billah wal yamil akhir wal yaqul wal yaqul khaira wal yasmut. Whoever believe in Allah and the judgment, let him say what is good or keep quiet. If you know what is coming from your mouth is going to be very, you know, detrimental. It's going to be very. Uh, obnoxious then keep mute quiet don't say it then you'll be saved you don't go and implicate yourself that's the second thing and thirdly we should always look for a way to gain a last pleasure Alas, abundant merit. The same thing that Prophet said that if a Muslim express them or utter them, such Muslim will have ample of rewards. That whoever says Subhanallah will have the Allah 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 Akbar. Hundred is going to be it's going to be filled both heaven and health, and it's going to serve as protection. Muslim it's going to open way for him from danger from you know uh, uh, trial and allow you pave way for him for such person so these are little we want to practice across the earth we should trust as possible to use our tongue judiciously rationally and in a godly way so that we can be saved both in this world and left to come. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.